With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the New York Giants. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27th. On the carry. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 27th, Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that, Burkle? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. On first and 10, it's Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. To throw again is Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. A Seahawk first down as Wilson finds Lockett. First and ten. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Now this throw caught left side. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. First and 10. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. They'll run on first down. Carson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And it's caught! And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. More yards. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got a... And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now.
Jason Myers. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The New York set to take the field. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Operating from the gun. Jones. Give credit to K.J. Wright. He was disrupting defensively. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the gun, Jones. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. And that was Carlos Dunlap who got in to take him down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at their 35-yard line. He gives it off to Carson, and he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. The tackle by yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. This a second and seven from the 37. Here's Carson. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. This throw complete, Wilson finding Lockett. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First and 10. Well, how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline. And you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be. And it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one. Able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Well, that's about as exciting of a one-yard run as you're going to see. Finding a way to dodge that first would-be tackler, but again, just one yard out of it. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. 
but that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 13-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his left. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. 13-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Here's Jones. On first down, open receiver, that's Caden Smith, the tight end. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. First down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. They'll run for the first time with Deion Lewis. Making the stop Deion that time, Lewis. Bobby Wagner. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Operating from the gun. Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. That one a first down pickup of eight. An eight yard pickup. First down, Giants. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48 yard line. Now Jones. Caught right side, Tate. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it and it won't help him at contract time. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. From the gun, Jones. And Ingram holds it in. 
And that'll wind up moving the chains again as a tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 26. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Giants. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Now Lewis here on first down. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 15-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. they got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. This will be caught at about the six. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones able to connect with Sterling Shepard. And the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. As they began this last drive, things weren't exactly looking up for this offense. But after what they just did, putting the ball in the end zone, that took them away from the brink of possibly being knocked out of this game. And his kick is right through. The score Seahawks 14, Giants 7. Graham Gano set Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 26. And here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the Giants' 49-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. 28-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll find Metcalf. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. 
Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson with his second touchdown here in this first half. Here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. New York ready to go again offensively. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 24. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Over the middle, complete to Tate. Complete to Golden Tate. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, he'll complete this to Ingram, his tight end. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Jones now operating from the gun. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. This is Carson. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They run it with Carson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think a guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Give him nine there on the first down completion. 
comes up second. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now it's Carson, and he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, Wilson. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there, and the Seahawks add on to their lead. They went five wide in that offensive set, and racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Myers connects on the PAT, and the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. Taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down now, it's Lewis, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Now Jones, throwing on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Tate. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. A 
A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Gallman. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Down by Bobby Wagner. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Jones from the gun on third down. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Carlos Dunlap able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Here's more on the return. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. At their own. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points. It's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Throwing again, Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So the flag thrown for the contact, mark off the yardage. And sometimes you just read a hitch route way too fast. You get there before you're supposed to, and there's the penalty. First down, it's Carson, and he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. Blake Martinez, second in the league in tackles last year, gets another there. Second well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The intended receiver was D.K. Metcalf, and now it's third down. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Operating from the gun, Wilson. Left side complete to Lockett. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Wilson to Lockett there for the Seahawk first down. First but things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. On first down, Wilson. And this a quick slant to lock it. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Now Wilson on first down. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 
A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Throwing again here, Wilson. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive. But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Jason Myers. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And the drive starts with a completion, left side. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Throwing Jones. Dancing to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Back to throw. Jones sets up the screen to Lewis. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the gun, Jones looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Lewis. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Jones. 
on first and ten. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. To throw again, Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Intended for So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. That's complete left side to Shepard. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll try and run for it. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. He was covered by Jamal Adams. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Jones. Flushed out right. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit from the right hash. And this one just a chippy. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far, as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The New York set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll begin with a run by Gallman. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. The ball Carlos Dunlap, the defensive end, the one to bring him down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. From the 27, Jones, his throw incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and it's third down. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone 
They're the ones that need to touch the ball. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call. But for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. Now Gorman. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Bobby Wagner, the NFL's leading tackler in 2019, there on the stop. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Jones throwing complete here to Tate. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll run on first down. Lewis. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. He's brought down at the Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has a total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. On second and nine, Jones over the middle complete. It's Tate. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. This has kind of been the story all night long, hasn't it? An inability to really get much done on third downs, and it's costing them. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And he hits the upright, put it caroms in anyway. Boy, plenty of distance there as he banks it in. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. A distance wasn't the problem, but he did need some help from the right upright, and he got it, a little kiss and in. Yeah, unfortunately, he caught on the inside of the upright, and that pushed it through. This isn't like a baseball foul pole where you hit any part of it and it counts. It's got to go through the post. If he hits it on the outside, that's no good. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Second and a yard. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running, and if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
from the shotgun. Wilson stepping up. He'll try and run. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. A good position to be in here, second and inches. From the gun, he'll hand this off, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Chris Carson has proven to be a workhorse for the Seattle Seahawks, and they continue to expand his game. We know that he can run inside and be a bruising type of a player, but he has surprising speed to the perimeter, and they've expanded his game now by throwing it to him out of the backfield. In 2019, in the top 10 in the league in touches and yards from scrimmage. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down. It's Carson, and he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 32. Seven yards there and a first down. Good gain by Chris Carson. Picks up a first down, and you just have to love his running style. Talk about a straight-ahead guy, no-nonsense type of a runner. He's averaged 82 yards a game over the last two seasons and had 1,230 yards on the ground in 2019. This throw complete, Wilson finding Lockett. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 12, first down Seahawks. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. On first down, Carson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That's good. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. First down nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So that'll back him up five. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Throwing is Wilson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Credit that sack to Jabal Sheard. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. And he's got it. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. 11 yards, but still not enough. Fourth down. And that big gain may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. 
from the left hash. He'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Myers' kick is good. good. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line and now out come the Giants and fortunate to get points on the board last time they had to hit a really long field goal to do so the kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted mm -hmm. and we can't do that that's a long field goal that they got three points out of they've got to feel good about that and they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out yeah now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here we'll see it's a six yard pickup but it gets them to second and four Brings up now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. They'll run again here with Goldman. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones looking for Shepard deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. Deep ball, short ball, that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Seahawks take back over their drive last time it stalled out they were forced to take the short field goal and the key phrase you nailed it forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort right to them that's not how drives are supposed to end you're supposed to put six on the board that's a consolation prize like going to the county fair you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one goes for 30 yards. Now, normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they've mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. James Bradbury. James Bradbury there to make the tackle. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. From the gun, Wilson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. 
And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. At the 11 a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson, his second touchdown of the night. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Extra point up and through by Myers, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. New York ready to go again offensively. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense... They don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Jones now on first down. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs, and here a loss of yardage. Following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Operating from the gun, Jones. It's brought in left side by Tate. 
Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now Jones on third down. He's going to wind up and air it out. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. 56, Mike, 56. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it is incomplete. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Seahawks will get the football back in outstanding field position. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. False start penalty, certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. And to give this time to the tailback. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. From the gun, Wilson, a quick target here, complete to Metcalf. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. So on is Jason Myers. He's hit from as long as 58 in his career. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? now converted on the field goal try now he's on to kick it away and this will make it into the end zone and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here and last time went for it on fourth didn't get it Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around sometimes i have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Out to the right here to Shepard. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First down. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Jones throwing on first down. 
He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. That catch good for only a couple. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 38-yard line. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Jaron Reed, his second sack of the night. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Catch made by Slayton. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Now no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Now he dumps this off over the middle. That one good for 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the Seahawks' 20-yard line. Options galore here, second and a few inches. From the gun, Jones. That's complete to Slayton. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Gallman will run it. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. On the ground, it's Gallman again. Spins past him. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Here's Jones on third and two. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. They run for it with Morris. And this winds up a disaster. Nowhere near the marker. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Turnover on down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. The ball carrier. The tackle made by Blake Martinez. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Me and you all day. All day. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They run again with Carson. 
And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. At the 24-yard line. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Show it in. Show it in. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 15 yards on the play, first down. I know we're there of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. There's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Four-yard line. Brett and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. 44. Yeah, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. As an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.